Hi, this is Rochelle Scrapcraft Tastic, and I am back to work on the setup of yet another planner. This time we'll be working on my work planner. So to begin with, you may remember this planner from several months ago. This is a DIY disc bound junior size or half letter planner. I made the covers myself which is laminated acetate. And this is what the back looks like. It was kind of messy. And this was supposed to be my craft planner. Now, I figured out that I don't need a weekly setup for my craft planner. I don't need a monthly for my craft planner. Basically, I just need a place to draw out my ideas, write down my ideas, I needed a notebook, not a planner. And also I found that I prefer a actual um, bound notebook. When I say bound, I mean, oh, I know the name of this type of binding, but I can't think of it right now. But this type of binding is what I want for my craft notebook. So I am using something similar to this now for my craft ideas. And that way it has kind of like a, a nicer paper so that I can actually draw out and do the shading and everything uh, of my ideas. And when I get to my 2022 planner lineup, then I will show that. I haven't done a planner lineup yet because I wanted to get most of my planners set up and it's not gonna be a lot. I'm not gonna include all the notebooks and every journal that I own. I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> but I will show some of the notebooks and journals if you're interested. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. This is a bit of a mess because I've kind of been going through figuring out what I want to do, what I don't want, all of that. It, while I was working on this, because I think I'll be spending a lot of time in this planner and there will be a lot in this planner. I've gone ahead. I had these smoke colored tab dividers. I think these are... Anything that I've purchased like this is either from Office Depot, which is Tool, or it's from Staples, which is Arc. I think these are Tool dividers. Okay, so I just kind of just stuck those in here. I had this vellum that I had printed for something else that I stuck in here. And then these are some of the lists that I had started when I was using this as my craft planner. Um, so a lot of this is going to come out and then a lot of it's going to stay. Now, as far as the covers, I am not comfortable with the covers that I have on here. Just this, um, because like I said, this, I'll be in this a lot and I just don't feel like those are going to be good for moving this planner back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So to make it more sturdy. I got this, ta-da! This is supposed to be rose gold. It doesn't look like rose gold to me, but it's supposed to be rose gold. That's the color colorway that I'm going with for this planner. Um, so I'm just gonna use these, this is a notebook. So I can use the note pages, no problem. I'm just gonna use most of this, um, except for the discs for my work planner. I also have these black discs and I'm, torn and undecided do i want to just stay with the pink blush discs for now or do i want to go ahead and switch with the black i think i'll hold off and do the black later maybe once i get bored with the look of this planner and maybe i'll change my mind once i snap this cover on these discs let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like so i'm going to take this packaging off again this was tool it's a tool um notebook from Office Depot and I ordered it online and did a pickup. It was $24 and if you know, these are much more expensive than that usually. Um, I'm a little hesitant about this plastic here with switching disc in and out because it will break. At least I've had that experience with the Happy Planner. It hasn't happened to me with Tool yet, but I don't know. And I think it's more of an issue when the um, discs are metal because it kind of grinds into that plastic. This plastic seems a little heavier, but again, I don't know. And I think that's going to be okay with the pink. 
for now even though i think that black would probably look much better oh boy this is hard <laughs> the black because it, it really looks nice with the black when the black bleed blends right on into the disc i think that is a nice look are these the same size i think so Ooh. Even though I think it looks beautiful with the black disc, I am going to hold off. Like I said, when I start getting bored with this planner, then I can switch to the black disc and keep it moving. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with the blush pink. Let's just put those on. Just hope this plastic doesn't crack or break. Okay, so that's the front. And I'm just gonna take this one off and pop it on the back. I had some extra stuff in here. Let's see. My camera keeps moving. So if I'm off frame, I apologize. I don't know why it, well, I do know why. I have a little mischievous kitty that has knocked over my camera rig a couple of times. So that might be why I can't just get it back right. I don't know. And it's the temperature is dropping here. This is what Monday morning around 1030. The wind is blowing, the weather is feeling chilly, and I love it. I opened my front door and my um, back door so that that cold air can blow through and blow all the germs out of the house before it gets cold. It's only The cold is only going to last a day or two, but yeah, I'm already loving it. Okay, and this is Florida cold. This is not like snow weather. It's going to be in the 60s all day. That's cold for us. But it's not uncomfortably cold. It's comfortable to me. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to leave these in here for now. I'll probably run this through the laminator again because it is curl. And I may even trim it down a little bit. But for now, I'll leave these in here. This is a divider with sticky notes in the pocket. The sticky notes are from stickies. <laughs> okay. So, and then these are my notes on all of my planner stuff and ideas and stuff that I need to do. I need to do a better job with my notes, as you can see, <laughs> but that's kind of how it goes. Then I already put the Scrap Craftastic Weekly Planner Challenge in here so that I have that ready to go. Then the dividers and then the rest of this I need to work out. Now, I do feel like I want to take this out. I got all these sticky notes that I need to go through, and I'm just going to stick them all on this dashboard, this reusable dashboard, and I'm taking this out for now. And anything that I'm taking out, I think I'll put it on these discs as my temporary hold for my work planner. So this is December. I don't need this anymore. Um, I was hoping to be moved in here sooner. This is January 2022 and it's horizontal. And what else we got peeking back here? This is all dot grid or grid paper. So I got that ready to go. Um, let's see, we can take this October out. This was the one weekly that I did in here and then I discovered, oh, you don't need um, a weekly and I didn't put this in my um, 2021 flip through. Maybe I will show that later. Let's take that clip out. This can go, this goes with that. Then these dividers are clear tab dividers and they have a pocket and I'm pretty sure these are tool dividers as well. I need to go through my notes, so I'm going to take those out as I find them. These are uh, checklist pages from my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. 
So I'm going to leave those in. These were sent to me in happy mail and I may end up using them in here. So I'm going to leave those. Um, more sticky notes that I need to go through. So that's cleaned up. These are labels for tabs. There's another piece of my fancy vellum. More notes. Take all of that out. Let's clean it up. This is lined paper. And this is actually kind of like a traveler's notebook cover. It's a clear cover. Uh, I think it's pocket size. So it's a pocket here and a pocket here. But when I open it up, like this is the size your notebook would be, and you put it in here. But when you open it up, it's kind of like A5 size or half letter size. So I opened it, punched it, and put it in here in case I wanted to tuck anything in it. But for now, I don't. So I'm taking it out. I love this illustration and I want to keep her in here. <sighs> but for now, I'm taking her out. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, this is directions on creating a mini album. I want to keep that in there because I'm going to have things like that in here. This is that checklist paper. So I'm working it down, cleaning it up, getting it ready to be organized. Let's see. This is dot grid. Got more sticky notes. When I have time to sit down and go through those, what I'll do is go through the sticky notes and then fill in the information on the pages where it needs to go. Same thing with these pages where I have lists and ideas. I'm going to redo those in my new format of how I want to do things. So then these two pages. Okay. So we got the scrap craft tastic thingy and then the dividers, my notes. And I'm gonna take these sticky notes out too. Let's get rid of all of this so we can start anew. Okay, so other than the mini album um, directions and the weekly challenge, which is here, that, oh, no, I missed some stuff. Let me go back. I thought that was empty. I don't think I like this either. It's not staying on the disc. So let's take that out. Have to do it a different way. So. Take this out. Take this out. Now is she clean? And since I took the Scrap Craftastic one out, let's take the Journal Life's Journey out. Okay. So everything is out, I hope. I have specific sections that I want to include. So I'm pulling out my folder with the things that I've been collecting for my work planner. <laughs> and I got my notes in here for this. So I have sections. I want a Scrap Craftastic YouTube section with a monthly, a weekly vertical for to track my postings and maybe something for the Scrap Craftastic shop in that same section. Then, or maybe I'll do the shop separately. I'm not sure. Then I want a Journal Life's Journey YouTube for monthly and weekly to track posts. I need a Patreon. I'm thinking I can get away with just a monthly. Then just for individual sections, I want one for my website, one for Instagram, SD cards, challenges, the shop. So I guess I decided to just do the shop separately, future planning, PR, an inbox, and something to track the digitals that I buy so that I don't buy multiples of the same digital. So that is what this is all about. In preparation for that, I printed this, just testing it out. Not sure that I'm going to use it. I printed that on the inkjet printer, so I can't foil that. Um, this is actually, I have a happy notes notebook that I was using 
to list out giveaway information and winners and also to list the um oh, this goes like this to keep track of the 25 days of digital giveaways i was keeping track of the patreon perks i had to go back and fill in the ones that i hadn't been keeping so i'm going to cut this in half i know it looks a little like a mess but i decided i do not want to rewrite all of this stuff so i scanned it i'm just going to cut it in half and punch it and put it into the planner then we have my create for the sake of creating that needs to be foiled and I have several versions of that. Then good vibes only. So I did one on cardstock, one on vellum of each. Got those. Or at least one. This is an old folder that I don't know why it's in here. Um, <laughs> this is, okay, this is what I'm looking for. So I already had printed and I'm not sure how I want to do it, but anyway, let's look at these first. These are the vellum weekdays and months. So I'll use those somehow. These are foil ready, I believe. Then this is 2022. This is the goals and plans version. And then I have the weekly for January 2022. So I think I need some more inserts printed, but that's what I got to work with for now. So I'm just taking out a few things for now. And I'm actually, oh, I do have the whole year of 2022 ready to go. So I'm gonna take that out. But this can go back in the folder. And I'm gonna put all my notes in the folder. All this stuff that I just pulled out so that I can take my time and go through it. This is not going in the folder. This is going into somewhere to be prepared for coffee and tea staining to be used in a junk journal. This is going in here. Oh, I got a mess up here. So much stuff. Okay. So all of this will eventually make it into, oh, I want to pull those out too. Those will eventually go somewhere else. So this, and I guess I can just, I'm gonna end up taking the papers off out of that too for my different sections. Okay, now, as far as these go, these are dashboards from Coco's Vision. I used one in my Dollar Tree planner, just kind of for deco. And I think I wanna use one here as well. I'm gonna put one in the front and one in the back. And I don't know how I wanna layer them. But what I did when I laminated them, I left about a half an inch on the side where I wanna punch so that I would not actually be punching into the dashboard, I'm just punching into the laminate. So let's go ahead and punch that. That's basically the least important thing that's going on here, but I wanna go ahead and get them done. They're on junior size, and I'm probably gonna have to move it over a little bit to line it up, yeah. To line up those punches. But if you have a dashboard that you don't want to um, you know, punch into you like it. That's an option. Just leave a little extra space on the side that you want to punch. And I think that's right. And then you won't have to punch into your design. Okay. So this is the pinkity pinkity, but I like the black one up front. And I mean, I can always switch them, but I like that contrast. Now she may stick out a little bit. Nope, she barely, she barely makes it in there. <laughs> so that works. Now, do I want her to be on the front or do I want this one to be on the front? 
I think I want her. I just don't like the way that she's, she's not really half letter. She's A5, but if I leave, well, I'm going to leave this off. If I leave that there, let's see. Let's put this one on the inside. And then if I find any nice big stickers, I actually have one that I can put on here so that it will actually have a back. Now does that one stick out? It sticks out a little bit, but not too much. All right, so let's go ahead. I have my laminator heating up. Let's go ahead and run this through maybe once or twice. Is it good and hot? So that I can get these bent pieces of laminate to flatten out if possible. We'll see if it works. And as you're using your laminated items, if you see little flaws and things start opening up, try laminating it again. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes you have to just get rid of it. But I think that helps straighten things out. So let's try another one. The other one. Just to make sure it's going to hold up and it's good and sturdy. Gonna run it through, and I always run it through with the um, the punches to the that will so the punches will be the last thing that goes through, because you don't want it to run through and get caught on the rollers and all of that with these little pieces that are a loose that could get caught on the roller. So, and then I just let it dry, lay flat. I might run this one through again. It's still got a hint of a curl. And I may be pushing my luck, but let's try it and see what happens. And what's cool about this is if you're fussy about your metals, even though I'm going with a rose gold look, the back of this, it, the front is gold, but the back is rose gold. So let's pop this one on here. So that's all refreshed and then this looks refreshed I think let's pop it on the front of her yeah I'm gonna put it on the front for now let's start doing our section dividers I'm gonna move this out of the way this is probably gonna take a lot of patience and time to do um, which is probably why I've been kind of postponing it. I have printed on printable acetate all of the sections that I want or that I think I want. I went in Canva, even though I have Photoshop, I went in Canva and I did each divider. The only thing is I don't have tabs on these. I'll have to come up with a tab solution, but I want to use these. I thought this was a good idea on how to do it. So yes, I printed, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can't see anything. <laughs> so I printed all of these with a font that I like, and I am going to laminate them, cut them in half, and punch them and put them into the planner. Hopefully it doesn't create a lot of bulk. These are fairly thin. Um, am I using the thick laminate? Yeah, I'm kind of using the five mil laminate, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, I'm not gonna make you <laughs> suffer through this is because it's gonna take a while. I have quite a few. Um, so I'm just gonna do a few and then I'll come back once I have them all laminated and We'll start cutting them in half. Plus, I know that the glare is probably really bad with all of this acetate and laminate. And also, I considered reprinting these, which I could probably do later. I also got some of this acetate that works in laser printer. This is specifically for the inkjet. 
I got this one for laser printing on Amazon. I tested it out last night. It works, but it's it's not that friendly to my laser printer, but it actually, it works. So I've already printed, I know I'm all over the place, let's see. So I can show you. I've already printed on these, prepping them to go into the work planner with the laser printer and we can actually foil these. So we'll do those later. I don't know if it'll be in this video or another video, but we will get to that. So if you wanna be able, if you have a laser printer, I have a monochromatic, so it just prints black, black and white. Um, if you wanna foil stuff, that's a great investment. And now you can make your own acetate and foil your own acetate. The laser printer that I have was given to me, but now that I have figured out all the things that I can do with it, if it ever goes kaput, I will be getting another monochromatic. I don't know if I would get a color laser printer. That's a huge investment. Plus the uh, toner cartridges are not cheap, so I don't know about that. But the black, I could deal with that. Now I need something under here to hold this up because, no, nope, that's too tall. Um, because I don't want it to kind of flop over. Yeah, there we go. So like I said, I'm just gonna show you this one and then we're gonna move on, finish the rest. So that's what it is looking like there. And all I have to do is trim that out, punch it and put it in my planner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them done and I'll catch you on the other side. So they are all cut and glaring at you. Um, I did end up using my rotary trimmer, my big paper trimmer, because it was too, they were too slippery for the um, craft trimmer, the regular blade trimmer. So this is what they look like. But I'm gonna go ahead and round these corners. And anywhere where I see blemishes or anything like that, I can use a rub-on or a clear sticker to cover that. It's not really that big of a deal um, for me. I'm putting them on this insert that I need to cut so that they don't pick up any lint or anything off my desk. Even though I've cleaned it, there's probably glue residue still on the desk. So I'm going to go ahead and punch these. And as I punch them, I'm actually going to run them back through the laminator just to make sure everything is sealed nicely. And I will be back. Okay, so just for good measure, I'm running them through again. I've already done these two. So I'm gonna do all of these. And with trimming these, um, I'm not really worried about leaving that air bubble around the edge. I'm actually trimming it all the way to the edge, maybe a little slightly over because it's not going to come apart. Um, at least I don't think it will. It's pretty sealed tight to that plastic, um, or acetate. Um, so I'm not really worried about that coming to loose. So I'll catch you when I finish with this. Alrighty, now we have them all double laminated, corners rounded, and now it's time to punch. So I'm just going to line these up like this and start punching. Just grab this and I think I can go ahead and put it exactly on junior size like so and just make sure that I put them in with the right side, with the left side to punch. And I don't know if I need to run them through again after that, but we'll soon find out. Let's start lining these up. So the dividers, 
dashboards. I don't know what you want to call them. To me, a divider has a tab on it that you can see, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, where you can see the division of pages, that's not always necessary. But I think they turned out really nice. It's going to be hard to see these on here, but I wanted something clear. And they're nice and sturdy. The laminated acetate 5 mil uh, laminate pouch. I think they're nice and sturdy. And again, if the punches start to wear, I can always just run it through the laminator again. This one I can feel a little snagging. Let's see what happens if I run it through. If that clears that up, I may end up running these through again just to make sure that those punches are sealed. I want this to hold up because I don't want to have to make them ever again. <laughs> but what I was looking at is I have weekly and monthly in here and I don't think I necessarily need that um, because each section that has a weekly or monthly insert already has a section. So what I may do is use the weekly and monthly within a section and I may do those with the foil. I'm going to hold on to these two for now, but I might change the way I'm doing that. Yeah, that feels better. So I'm going to run these through one more time um, to smooth out the punches. And I probably could have waited after I rounded the corners um, and just did all this at once, but I didn't think of it. So once I finish running these through yet again, I will be back. Okay. I don't know what has happened. <laughs> I might have forgot to turn the camera back on, but what I've been doing is kind of organizing and reorganizing everything in the planner. So I'm going to show you what I have done. And I've already determined that I'm going to need bigger discs. These are not big enough. Um, yeah, I think they're like the one and a half inch. So I'm going to have to get online and see what other options I have. Because those black ones aren't. I don't want to divide this into two planners. I really don't. But anyway, so we have our old cover now acting as a dashboard. We have this dashboard from Coco's Vision. Then I have the inbox. Uh, hopefully, let me tilt this up. Hopefully you can read that. Um, but this is the laminated acetate or transparency film for inkjet printer laminated that with five mil laminate to make that nice and sturdy divider. This is another laminated something that I made. I don't remember what I laminated to make this, but I'm pretty sure I laminated something. This is one of those self adhesive pockets that they used to have in the target dollar spot. I haven't seen them in a while. They're usually back in the day, they would be out during back to school. Um, but I haven't seen them lately, but there are some that are on Amazon and I'll link to those in the description box below. They are slightly different, but they still work. Then we have one of the frosted, um, dividers. I decided to incorporate the frosted with the clear because I'm trying to use, basically use what I have. I don't know if I caught that in what footage I have, but I was talking about, it would be nice if I had some clear tabs to add to my little dashboard dividers. And I think I have a way to make those clear tabs. So even though I do have some tabs here that I can use, I am still going to need a few more tabs. So I'll, I will be showing you how to make the clear tabs if my idea works. Okay. So this is the future section. I have another divider here. And in the future section, I have this digital that was released to patrons. It is the future. You get January through December boxes just to kind of note things, future events. Then it comes with this goals and plans page. You have dot grid and then another goals and plans page with dot grid. Then I have a few pages of dot grid and the whole year monthly available to patrons. I think it's patron elites. I've already started making notes of 
spreads and things I want to do throughout the year. Make sure that I use particular stickers because I forget. So that's another reason why I wanted to do it this way. So I got the whole year right there. Then I've got another divider with a pocket. And this starts the Scrap Craftastic section. And again, we got glare, but so we got the clear divider. And then we start with the January insert. This is why I need bigger discs because I only have one month of weeklies in here and it's already full. Anywho, so this is January 2022 and it is the vertical weekly available to patron elites. I'll be starting to fill that in as soon as I finish this video. This is a list of giveaway winners that I need to keep track of. Another clear divider with a pocket. And I'm pretty sure this is from Office Depot as well. Um, Journal Life. The reason I'm pretty sure most of this is from Office Depot is because that's the closest office supply store to me. The Staples is too far. So <laughs> I usually try to get what I need from Office Depot. Okay. Journal Life's Journey is the next section. And I didn't put one of the... Oh, yeah. So this clear divider with the tab and the pocket starts the Journal Life's Journey section. This section, I used the Scrap Craftastic Patreon Elite insert, but I used the horizontal. And this is for the month of January. So the whole month is in there. Then we skip over to another divider here that starts the Patreon section. And that's the clear divider for Patreon. And in Patreon, just for now, all I have is the list of all the perks that are available to patrons. And I originally did this list in a happy notes notebook and so i didn't want to rewrite everything so that's why you see the green i just scanned what i had and cut it down and put it in here reduced it and put it in here then i have some more pages for future perks then we get into my shop i don't have any information here i just have a few uh, dot grid pages here for that because I need to revamp my shop and get it going again. Here's another pocket tab divider, clear. And then we start with the Instagram section. I'm not really sure how I'm going to set this area up, um, but I do want to start tracking some things. So I just have a few note pages in here for Instagram. Another frosted divider starts the PR section. And again, I don't have anything in here yet because I need to fill it in with the companies that I do PR for. Then we have challenges. I don't expect this section to grow, but I do, well, I've decided that I'm not good at challenges. <laughs> the only challenge that I seem to be able to keep up with is the Scrap Craftastic Weekly Planner and Journal Challenge. And sometimes I'm a little iffy on that one. But if I decide to do a challenge, it will go in this section. I do have one that I need to finish, which was John's uh, Christmas drawing illustration art challenge. I, I kind of gave up, but I still want to finish it. And I know we're well past Christmas, but I figured, well, if I finish it, the illustrations that I use, I can use those to make graphics and stickers and stuff for Christmas this year. So. Anywho, that's what that section is. Website, I probably should have titled this blog, but it is an act, a blog is a website. So website, um, just a few note pages for things that I wanna do there. Then this is an important section. Um, I used a pocket folder with the tab on it for the SD card section. This is where I'm gonna be organizing um, all my footage that I keep on SD cards so that I don't have to go through 10 SD cards <laughs> just to find the footage that I'm looking for. This will all be color coded and everything. I had started this in my A5 rings and then when I decided that I was gonna move to discs, 
I stopped but all of this is going to be color coded I'm be using washi tape to do that and so I have several pages of the tool note paper there there's another frosted divider and we get into the digitals where I want to keep track of all the digitals that I have I'd already started a list in another notebook but I think I might transfer that list over to here or I may just do like I did for the happy notes uh, patreon perks and scan it and add it here that might be the easiest thing to do so there is that section and I think that is all I guess I could take some of this paper out maybe I'll do that so that it won't be so stuffed oh I forgot about this section I need a projects section so let me put a little tab a little sticky note in here to remind myself to make one for projects and now I'm thinking well do I just need a craft no I'm not doing that what I'm gonna do is take this out and trim it down and tape it into my journal where I draw out my ideas and stuff and just leave my projects in that journal that's what I'm gonna do so these are the monthly and weekly dividers that I decided not to use at the moment I'm gonna leave them in here for now and then this is that other dashboard and maybe I'll take that out to reduce bulk let's see do I want to take this out too and let's take these out <laughs> And try to reduce it some it didn't it didn't make that big of a difference yeah I just need some bigger this it'll be okay it's a little alligator mouth but it'll be okay okay that is it sorry for such a long video but I, I want to get that done and I want to bring you along especially for those of us who just don't get it sometimes to maybe help help you get it so that's how I'm organizing it I'll have to do my tabs but I think I'm off to a good start so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.